What is up the world of the living? My name is Lexp and welcome back to Truly Bedrock. This is not the emote I thought it was. I thought I was doing a wave. Oh no, uh, forget I did, I did anything. Hello everyone, yeah, how you doing? How's life? How's uh, stuff? I'm still sick. You know, just for, for the record, I'm still sick. Uh, you can probably, you probably can't, maybe cannot hear that in my voice, but uh, I'm, we, we're still, we're still in the sore throats, loy, and uh, uh, definitely way too much snot, loy. Sorry for the details, uh, just like literally nothing else going on in my life, mostly because I am sick and can't do anything. So I'm playing Minecraft, and I honestly have no idea what I wanted to do today. So this is where I come uh, back to the commercial area and just kind of look around for the stuffs because the stuff's been doing and the stuff's been happening and maybe some of it will inspire me as to why specifically I should be doing right now. Oh, that's a change of pace. I'm sorry, I have just suffocated. Hi, Alice. You've been selling! <laughs> so we're out of basically every single type of wood except dark oak, which like no... <laughs> no duh, there's like 10 shulkers of it. Still though, there's only some crimson left and uh, I'm guessing the warped gun to Jesse B, but where everything else went, I have no flipping idea. One thought though that this really brings to me is that this amount of money is really not safe. To be storing down here in this payment chest, which I will still do for now, mind you, you know, just in case, uh, not out of room lights just yet, J just in case, because people might be, you know, interested in being impressed how much money I have, but we do have to come up with something later where we will put it somewhere safer. Right now, though, that kind of wood situation is really pushing me towards one particular project, and uh, I think you already know which one. I mean, look at this, everyone. Look at this and cry. This is our uh, tree farm at the moment, and it's missing nine gusts. And the reason it's missing nine, nine gusts is because Silent just won't put them in until there's some sort of outer shell around this area, so that the gusts don't just randomly target, uh, you know, bypassers and uh, try to destroy everything forever. And I mean, I understand him. We have plenty of things that we would not want to lose around. Uh, so, on the other hand, yeah, about time something, something, uh, someone, some, depth. And I think that that someone has to be me because I'm currently the one with no wood in my store. So, what's our situation with that project? What are we gonna do with it? Um, to be told, I have not had a good idea yet for it, but there is a little bit of a hint, a little a hunch, hunch that I have for myself, and that is that, uh, well... Basically, this tree farm has two main characteristics. One is uh, it's incredibly noisy, and the second one is it's incredibly noisy. Uh, I'll explain in a moment. There are two noises that this uh, farm mostly will produce once done. And no, for once, in a tree farm, which is basically a piston tape on a piston tape on a piston tape, the pistons in themselves will be the least of our problem. The main problem are gonna be gusts screaming and the gust fireballs exploding. So we will have to kind of look into that and figure something out. And while I don't think I have an idea on how to explain the screams, I do think I have an idea on how to explain the blow upy. And the blow upy, well, uh, I mean, look, 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 look. Keep looking, I'm, um, I promise, I, will, it's, I'm, I have a point here. Yeah, that means that we can go into the deeper into the piratey ideas and we can justify the explosions by just building a bunch of cannons. Just an absolute buttload of sizable cannons, uh, yeeting cannonballs into the ocean, kind of, you know, pretending that there's a shootout going on. It would be incredibly cool, especially since, well, the, the gas fireballs really do look like, you know, cannonballs. And that's what will be coming out, and that's what will be blowing up wood down here. So we already have the cannonball sound effect. We just need to create the visual. If only I knew flipping how. Um, so the answer is basically like cyan terracotta and grey concrete. I mean a lot of grey wool also, but mostly just these two. Uh, this actually here is a design I developed not for a cannon, 
but uh, specifically for a cauldron of smelting gold because at first I wanted to have a trade beat and like a super smelter in the nether and have like a giant tub of gold but then you know I had some media decided to live in a, a magma filled biome and that was a little bit too much of a nightmare to put together so either way uh, if we pl just plug this a little bit look at that totally looks like a gun <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We actually are uh, gonna try and put together something resembling a cannon, or the very least a cannon shaft, or the very least uh, a cannon. Yeah, that, that's that, that's what we're doing. If you can't figure it out yet, and uh, naturally because building anything on a low scale in Minecraft is uh, just a little bit of a nightmare, we're gonna be building it on a large scale. On a Largo and actually I think even this like design on tiny legs is gonna come in handy Just you know, it's not a cauldron anymore. This time. It's an it's a cannon <laughs> Roll with it. I am I have actually gotten fairly okay at this point at uh, Freehanding a circle in Minecraft, but the trick at this point is uh, freehanding a, a conusoid I don't know what shape a cannon is to be completely honest they kind of go uh, it's basically a sideways vase like when you really look at it a cannon is basically either a si uh, sideways vase if you want to go for a complex uh, you know for a co complex kind of shape or potentially it's just a sideways tube which really that's what it kind of more or less is yada yada it depends on how detailed we want to go but but we still want to go fairly detailed and we still want to try and make it look more interesting than just as you know a tube a cylinder a cone even and i don't know how that's gonna pan out all i know is uh yeah great concrete my dudes that craft's getting paid i hate it when that craft's getting paid <laughs> All right, I tried to add a little bit of like a, a muzzle flash, let's put it that way, and it's just like it's, just, We're not doing that on the actual server, we're not, not doing that on the- this is ugly as so hell So I just felt like reminding you right now about uh, exactly how this farm is gonna sound, except you know, night times this And uh, while we have more or less justified the dun 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 that happens down there we have not yet justified the that they're currently doing. Gust idle sounds are like, eh, uh, uh, I dropped my shoe. That that kind of stuff, you know, just basically passive whining. And uh, the passive whining is actually a fairly solid idea and a fairly solid thing to exploit. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, one idea I had was uh, to create some sort of a basically a mountain just basically bury the entire stupid thing just bury it under a cliff put a ghast faced um, cave on the side of that cliff you know natural building that kind of stuff and just say that the cliff is haunted that's why it's screaming every now and again and I'll, i gotta admit that would be fairly halloweeny it is autumn after all and it sounds sounds pretty awful actually it sounds exactly like I lost my glasses. The issue is with that, that is, is for one, natural building, for two, natural building underwater. Really not looking forward to that. Not necessarily something I want to do. But then I had an idea that would basically, the Tsar idea, the mother of all ideas, the idea to end all ideas. Mostly because that's my last one. I honestly can't come up with anything better. So here's the thought. Imagine if instead of the cliff, the haunted cliff from whence the screams are coming, the cries for help would be coming out out of some sort of an old prison block. Like there's some sort of fortress that you can still hear the haunting sounds of people going, my spaghetti is 10 minutes late, get the waiter. You know, that kind of situation. I feel it would be pretty solid. It would allow me to, for once, finally build with like stone brick and stone block, 
because I've not seen that material in absolute ages, it would still look pretty Halloweeny and haunted because it's a sunken flipping fort. And hey, do you know what forts have? Not prisons, mind you, but forts. They have treasure. More, more importantly, they have cannons. Forts are just that, they're fortifications. They have cannons in them to ward off, well, pirates mostly. But since we are the pirates, we'll be warding off basically everybody else. So what I was thinking is, uh, let's go back to All Store. We have like 11,000 stone in there. So we're gonna just grab all that, bring it down here and try and build something resembling an old fortress. We can even trap some skeletons in like jail cells and whatnot. Just make this entirely a pirate ride experience. <laughs> so naturally, me being me, I decided to plan this entire thing out and uh, well, there you go, half of it is built. <clears throat> well, half of the wall is built at the very least, but let's face it, the front wall is the most important one because guess what? <coughs> That's the important one for the overall front view and already you can kind of tell where we're going with it, eh? 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 Please tell me that you can. Please, please tell, please, please say nice things to me. I need it so much in my life. I was, I would really appreciate it if you said nice to me, the nice things about me and the things I create. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I went on a, uh, uh, I went places there. I apologize. Here I am back here on True Bedrock. This, there's a wall. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. Add a few iron bars, maybe a couple of prisoners hanging by the by the thread right outside. Maybe some heads on spikes. I don't know how prisons are. I've never been to one. Here I go. Let me pirate some uh, Adobe products. I'll find out in like 10 minutes. I'm actually quite proud of the paraboloid shape. Well, not paraboloid. This is actually more of a hyperboloid like vroom, shape that we created down here. And uh, I need to mimic it on the other side of the thing. I need to put something to support, some sort of a tower down here and down there on the back side. But most importantly, I need to somehow continue it all the way underwater. And I don't know necessarily how. I mean, I have an idea. I have two ideas. One idea is to continue the actual walls all the way underwater, but I don't think that's gonna look nice. On the other hand, we have this little island and we have this little, you know, peninsuloid. I might actually connect this to this to make it all look connected and interconnected and nice and actually submerged after it used to stand there. And then, uh, honestly, on one hand, it's kind of complicated because it's underwater building and it's underwater natural building. But on the other hand, I'm kind of right at natural building, aren't I? I'm alright at natural building. I can do that. Uh, the material is terracotta. It's everywhere around us. I already have built a cliff. Uh, Jesse B is online at the moment. Jesse B is not online at the moment. I have missed a bit on this though. Um, I it'll be fine. I can handle a little terraforming, right? Right. Um, let's go on with the project. I'm sorry. I need to fill this in. Well, I've given it my best shot over the course of the night, and <laughs> look at this. Oh me, oh my, this is actually looking way better than I expected myself to deliver in such a limited time. Like honestly, quite a revelation, turns out I can actually build something like this without much pain and without much struggle. The issue now of course is that I need to build three more walls of it and potentially a ceiling. And by potentially I mean certainly a ceiling because we don't want this, the gusts to target anything flying by not yet at the very least hmm yeah i'm very happy with this project i'm really like uh liking where this is going and though it doesn't look like a haunted prison yet it does already look like what i set up to do you know an abandoned fort and if we just add a couple of cages hanging from there and from there with maybe a skeleton or two inside will be absolutely golden and it will actually look exactly like what we're trying to do. Mm, still could use like <laughs> a banister or two on it. <laughs> Just saying, could always add some more skulls and flags with skulls. But right now I'm more interested in specifically putting together the top of the thing. So I'm gonna carry on with that and let's see where it gets us. 
So the, the build is done, just uh, ignore the backside, I guess? It, it, it's not there, pretend, okay? <laughs> we'll so, I will sort it out, we'll sort it out some other time, I'm just like kind of sick of seeing grey stuff, so let's go grab some more grey stuff, or at least, you know, dark greyish colors. I will need cyan terracotta and I will need grey um, concrete to specifically create the cannon I wanted to make. And while logic and reason dictate that uh, the cannon is supposed to point into that general direction, I am actually qu questioning if that's a good idea, because, I don't know, something tells me that maybe um, it would be really nice to have the cannon pointing that way. I am... Um, logic dictates that it's stupid, because why would you direct your giant cannon inwards? into the flipping island when you clearly are anticipating attacks from outside of it so we'll see we'll try we'll uh, ponder out but at the same time just by the overall composition of it you could probably tell why uh th this needs a little bit of that diagonal energy on it uh, we have qu we got quite a uh, quite a horizontal down there so there's some vertical going with the towers and whatnot but it's just, it would be something really, really nice looking if I could build a diagonal cannon looking, overlooking kind of that way. You know, kind of hinting that it was what um, originally took down the ship as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to just a Dadcraft pulling a lever. Speaking of whom, by the way, the only con great concrete uh, merchant in the entire area. You hate to see it, but I'm afraid we literally don't have any choice at all. Dude, what's this? Like seriously, what is this? There are way easier ways to t tune the train around, my dude. And he f he is fresh out. Oh come on! Oh that's oh that's so sus. Oh that's so. Oh, he did... mm -hmm. All right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. There's only so much time left till I have to release this episode. And we're out of the gray material. And I don't necessarily have any uh, concrete on my own. So what are we gonna do? Hmm. I will buy bones though. Bones are one per stack. Um, that is much cheaper than Prowl. And that's honestly like... The bar has been set that low, my dudes. <laughs> as long as you're better than Prowl... Um, you're, you're good. You're good in my book. And let's face it, with the prices Prowl's been cranking out, it doesn't take much to be better than Prowl. Alright, new plan. Grind for the materials, uh, convert the materials, use the materials, build the thing. Or, alternatively, get Silent to redesign the tree farm, because he already wanted to do that, he wanted to redesign the nether one. Then, then, also get Silent to put together a concrete converter. Convert a bunch of concrete and take over the entire economy by outbidding uh, Dutchcraft in the price war. Sounds like a good idea, especially with Liara on our side. Hello, Lee. <laughs> she has no idea what I'm talking about. But she was the one running the shop, the concrete store, back in season one. So I would guess that she would be the one who would know about concrete conversion. In the meantime, there's plenty of terracotta and clay and all that kind of materials that we can create the underbelly of the build that we were working on today. So yeah, I feel incredibly confident in this. This is, and this came out looking much nicer than I anticipated. And at the same time, we already have a plan for how to build the cannon. So we are more or less set with this project. Except of course for terraforming, that's gonna be a little bit of a nightmare, but you know what, whatever. I'm gonna end this episode here, so thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Slow with this has been Truly Bedrock. To be continued, have a good one. Bye-bye.